He is known for his philosophy of dialogue, distinguishing between the I Thou and I It relationships. He is recognized for his writings on Zionism and his extensive work within the Zionist movement. He was an Austrian Jewish and Israeli philosopher. His name is Martin Buber. In the vibrant city of Vienna, a young Martin Buber was born into a family deeply rooted in Jewish tradition. But his thirst for knowledge and quest for understanding led him down a different path. Breaking with convention, Buber chose to pursue secular studies in philosophy, setting the stage for a remarkable journey that would shape his life and philosophy. Buber's exploration of existentialism led him to develop a groundbreaking concept known as the I Thou relationship. He believed that true connection and understanding could only be achieved through authentic dialogue between individuals, transcending the superficiality of the I It relationship. This philosophy would become the cornerstone of his teachings and influence generations to come. As Buber delved deeper into his studies, he became an active participant in the Zionist movement. His writings on Zionism and his extensive collaboration with various Zionist bodies showcased his commitment to the establishment of a Jewish homeland. Buber's impact extended beyond academia, as he not only translated the Hebrew Bible into German but also left an indelible mark on literature, earning multiple Nobel Prize nominations for both literature and peace. Despite the recognition and acclaim he received, Buber remained humble, always emphasizing the importance of genuine human connection. Reflecting on his own life, he once mused, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. This profound statement encapsulated his belief in the eternal nature of human existence and the potential for meaningful encounters that transcend time and space. Martin Buber, the philosopher, writer, and advocate for dialogue, left an enduring legacy. His philosophy continues to inspire individuals to seek genuine connections, fostering understanding and compassion in a world often divided. Today, we celebrate the life of a man who challenged the boundaries of traditional thinking and left an indelible mark on philosophy and human understanding. In his groundbreaking work, I and Thou, Martin Buber introduced a profound understanding of human existence. Inspired by Farbach's The Essence of Christianity and Kierkegaard's Single One, Buber developed the concept of existence as encounter. He categorized these encounters into two modes of consciousness, itch do and itch yes, representing different ways in which individuals engage with the world. The itch do relationship emphasizes the mutual, holistic existence of two beings. It is a concrete encounter where individuals meet authentically, without objectifying or qualifying one another. In this relationship, there is no room for imagination or ideas, it is a direct and unmediated connection. Buber stressed that the itch do relationship lacks composition and does not communicate any specific content. Although it cannot be proven as an event, it is real and perceivable in daily life. Examples of itch do relationships can be seen in various contexts, such as two lovers, an observer and a cat, the author and a tree, or even two strangers on a train. These encounters foster dialogue, mutuality, and genuine exchange. Buber also highlighted the significance of the itch do relationship between a human being and God. According to Buber, this is the only way to truly interact with the divine. He argued that any itch do relationship with other beings or objects is connected, in some way, to our eternal relationship with God. However, Buber emphasized that creating this I thou relationship with God requires openness and receptivity rather than active pursuit. The pursuit of such a relationship would limit it to an I it mode, characterized by objectification and distance. On the other hand, the itch yes relationship represents the opposite of itch do, in this mode, individuals do not truly meet or encounter one another. Instead, the I confronts and qualifies an idea or conceptualization of the being, treating it as an object. This mode of being lacks the depth and authenticity of the itch do relationship. Buber's philosophy of dialogue and existence offers valuable insights for our daily lives. It encourages us to engage with others and the world around us in a genuine and reciprocal manner, fostering meaningful connections. By recognizing the importance of encountering others without objectification or qualification, we can cultivate empathy, understanding, and mutual respect. Buber's philosophy reminds us that true relationships require openness, presence, and a willingness to embrace the inherent mystery of human existence. Martin Buber, born into an Orthodox Jewish family in Vienna, had a deep connection to his religious roots. However, a personal religious crisis led him to question and eventually break with Jewish religious customs. He began immersing himself in the works of philosophers such as Immanuel Kant, Soren Kierkegaard, and Friedrich Nietzsche, which ignited a passion for philosophy within him. Inspired by these thinkers, Buber decided to pursue studies in philosophy. In 1898, Buber joined the Zionist movement and became actively involved in its congresses and organizational work. During this time, he met his future wife, 
Paula Winkler, a brilliant Catholic writer who later converted to Judaism. Together, they embarked on a journey that would shape their lives and beliefs. Buber's worldview took a turn during World War I when he initially supported and celebrated the war as a world historical mission for Germany. However, as the war progressed, he experienced a shift in his perspective. Some believe that Buber was influenced by the writings of Jacob L. Moreno, particularly the concept of encounter, during his time in Vienna. This concept emphasized the transformative power of genuine human connection. In 1930, Buber became an honorary professor at the University of Frankfurt. However, in 1933, he resigned from his position in protest against Adolf Hitler's rise to power. Undeterred by the political climate, Buber founded the Central Office for Jewish Adult Education, an institution that played a crucial role in providing education to Jews when the German government forbade them from attending public schools. In 1938, Buber left Germany and settled in Jerusalem, Mandatory Palestine. There, he received a professorship at Hebrew University and became one of the most prominent Israeli philosophers. Throughout his life, Buber's teachings emphasized the importance of genuine encounters between individuals and the transformative power of human connection. Martin Buber, known for his evocative and poetic writing style, delved into various major themes in his work. He had a knack for retelling Hasidic and Chinese tales, providing insightful biblical commentary, and engaging in metaphysical dialogue. As a cultural Zionist, Buber actively participated in the Jewish and educational communities of Germany and Israel. He was not only a supporter of a binational solution in Palestine but also advocated for a regional federation of Israel and Arab states after the establishment of the Jewish state of Israel. Buber's influence extended across the humanities, particularly in the fields of social psychology, social philosophy, and religious existentialism. Buber's attitude towards Zionism was closely tied to his aspiration to promote a vision of Hebrew humanism. This term was coined to distinguish his form of nationalism from that of the official Zionist movement. Buber believed that Israel's problem was not isolated but rather a distinct form of the universal human problem. He saw the task of Israel as a nation connected inexorably to the task of humanity as a whole. Buber's philosophy of Hebrew humanism emphasized the importance of recognizing the interconnectedness of all people and addressing the common challenges faced by humanity. By embracing this perspective, individuals could transcend narrow nationalistic boundaries and work towards a more inclusive and harmonious world. Buber's writings and teachings continue to inspire individuals to cultivate empathy, understanding, and a sense of shared responsibility in their daily lives. In a world often characterized by division and conflict, Buber's philosophy reminds us of the power of dialogue and genuine human connection. His emphasis on storytelling and the retelling of tales from different traditions encourages us to seek common ground and appreciate the diversity of human experiences. Buber's legacy serves as a call to action, inviting us to actively engage in building bridges, fostering mutual respect, and striving for a more compassionate and interconnected society. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.